to what we were gonna be having for tonight. We have some black, red, and white coming all, all mixed into one with uh, some bell peppers, all color variations, some uh, red, yellow, and green. Normally I could use some purple, but they didn't have it in the store, unfortunately, with some asparagus, some heirloom tomatoes, some okra, um, some scallion, and some raw red onions in there. This is gonna be a meal for tonight. You know what I mean? Jam pack antioxidants, protein. Oh yeah. Let me sprinkle some uh some amethyst. Let me sprinkle some extra love in there. Let me just Everybody can see it. Say me I overdue it, overdue it, oh yeah. Hey, y'all have say, why make your clean so? Oh yeah, have say, why make your clean so? I great smoke a flow through me window. Me I overdue it. So tonight, as you see, what we have on the plate for tonight's delight of healing nutrition. Something very simple. Felt like sauteing up some greens, high in color frequency, vibrational. Definitely gonna aid in much digestion, blood flow, and the likes. However, before I get cooking on the pot, <laughs> This is where the first source of protein is. This is where the first source of ingredients is coming from. How many times do you see people putting sunlight on their ingredients list? This should be the first portion of your meal. Sunlight, especially at these varying hours of the day where you see the different array of colors taking place within the light code transmission. It's opening up many endorphins, dopamines, triggers, melanin secretion from that third out the pituitary gland, the hippocampic activity is excited. So now, as I aid in the latter half of the evening, as the sun goes down to my last meal of the evening, I will have proper assimilation of all the nutrients that I'm about to intake into my meals for tonight. Like I said, we're gonna be doing some sauteed bell peppers with some asparagus, uh, with some black quinoa, mixed with some red and white quinoa as well. It's just a mixture, it's a rainbow plate that I'm about to make tonight. I just felt like mixing it up. I have some leftover uh, white quinoa and I'm gonna throw in there as well. So it's, but it's majority black quinoa. Uh, and we just gonna mildly saute it in some coconut oil. Very, very mild. We don't keep it on the stove for too long. Um, we utilize some black salt. Activated charcoal with some pink Himalayan sea salt to regulate the alkalinity and the pH scale of the, the vibrancy cup. We're using aluminum pots for this one, but my glass pot is used for the quinoa and all the grains. That's what I normally use, but this one right, right here is a splurge for me, so I'm going to splurge it up tonight. And you know, try something once again that I've always loved. So we're going to make... Um... We're about to make a jam-packed tomato plate using heirloom tomatoes, Rama tomatoes, um, with uh, some, some dope stuff. I don't even know what to really call it. It's just quinoa top of tomatoes, but it's going to be super dope with asparagus. We're going to make it up nice. You know what I mean? Make a nice little combination. However, I have to take in some of the sunlight because this is the first nutrient part, the most nutritious and the most important ingredient for tonight's meal. This is what we have to incorporate as black indigenous people, sun gazing. I've been sun gazing quite a time before I come on the camera, but you gotta understand this is the first part to your ingredient, especially in the morning and the nighttime follow that circadian rhythm of thought and planetary vibration. So, like I said, this is opening up the pathways to really being able to synthesize certain things. And I'm getting vitamin D that helps to proliferate glutathione within the body. Glutathione helps regulate the liver a lot more to help digest and also detox any of the materials that I don't need. So, copulate with, <laughs> to make love with within my cellular composition. So, 
a lot of times we're vitamin D deficient. So this is why we have to take in the sun, get this mineral, right? And I'm gonna get the rest, like the vitamin C, vitamin K, okay? Um, the, you know, the vitamin B12. We won't be in all the other minerals, enzymes, trace minerals, any out of the, you know, we gonna, we gonna be jamming it up in the kitchen. You know what I mean? We get the rest there, but we getting so much already right now. Just from sun gate, just from being in light. Just smelling that light cold transmission. You understand? So as you transition this light, you, you, you're taking in so much more. Alright, so let's get in. Let's get back in that kitchen and swim something up. Nice. Mama, mama, look at all the array of colors. See, when your eyes are tapping in, you can see that there's pink in there. There's blue in there, there's purple, there's violet, there's indigo. Oh, it's just a vibration, it's just so oh. That's why I'm gonna lose no fuck. Man, see them true colors. Yeah. That's why I'm gonna lose no fuck. I'm for a purpose. See what I'm saying? No, bidding. Ha. See, you want to use the seeds as well, give you some extra flavor. And the seeds also, too, help with the detoxification process. A lot of the times, there's a alchemy taking place with the seeds. And a lot of the heavy metals, the heavy toxins taking place within the stomach, the ingestion, the, the digestive tract, and all that. So the seeds are really, really good for helping to relieve the body of the recirculation of these toxics and heavy metals back into the body when they go back into the GI tract. So and they just add an extra kick of flavor. That'd be the nice little catch 22 right there. That's for both of these bell peppers right here. Look at that, this is all color frequency. Oh, but look at this. We got some amethyst right here with some yellow. This is good for digestion, right? The red that moves the blood cells, pumps more iron. This is high in iron content too. Uh, the red and the green bell peppers are really good with iron content. Um, you know, just for that, that movement of the blood. Uh, got some turmeric. Oh yeah, got a black smoky cords too. So we lit. Look at all the color frequency, man. If your food not looking like a rainbow, coming back to the blackness. If you don't have rainbows coming back to the blackness, you're doing something wrong. Listen. So you want some coconut. And the trick about sauteing with coconut is to have the fire on a lower heat so that it doesn't get too hot. So it burns quick. So this is about a good amount because like I said we ain't gonna be salting it too hard, too strong. Just enough. Don't touch the pot, yeah. Just the smelling and it's so activated, you know. <laughs> Go always take a little bit of water and see what's going on there. Oh this is the quinoa right here. This is black, white, and red quinoa. All made up right there. This is a glass pot passed down in tra traditions. Traditions. You understand? This is from straight from Maroon Tony, isn't it? Mod. And you want to modulate the heat when it comes to cooking with coconut oil. That's the, that's the trick when it comes to sauteing that. But the only thing we sauteing right now is the asparagus and the, uh, the skillion. You even do the asparagus because you want it to have like a nice little crisp to it. So this is why you want to start this out first because everything else is based on water content. So it's gonna steam down a lot quicker. So this is gonna this takes the most to take turn the color that you want it, especially cooking with the coconut oil, which heats up quite quick. You see a lot of the water content coming out of there as well. Asparagus is great. Uh, aiding in digestion, 
Let's go for the GI tract, the gut, the stomach lining as well. It has a lot of um, jam-packed fibers that help the detoxification. Well. This is why it normally makes your urine smell a little funny. Because <laughs> it attacks right to the urinary tract. And it just helps a lot of the detoxicating functions of the body. That's why asparagus is so fly. Good brain food too. This is the nice little crispy you want to have with the asparagus. That little brown spot, that's how you know those are pretty much finished. And now, no stickage taking place. Everything is still around. Add the bell peppers in there. Now these are gonna, we want to keep these as raw as possible. <clears throat> this is why we put them in last. And you have some okra. Okra is great, great for the stomach lining. It helps build up that mucus layer that needs to be in between the acidity that's taking place in the stomach. So if you're looking at preventing acid reflux, ulcers, leaky gut, these are really good. Okra. And then we go ahead and dump the tomatoes in there. You hear that sizzle? Ooh. The maze of cliches. Each day weighs out enlightenment. Niggas blacked out because I got ultraviolet. Now my wavelengths to the radio waves to keep it under pavements, but not a ratio change. My some pink salt. Uh oh. Heard the meat is said it smelled good. Yeah. <laughs> pink salt. I gotta thank myself. My wealth is in my happiness and mine, and not my pocket health and with taxes. If you don't ever think sometimes, if it's passion, that relationship synchronized. Drowning inside her, true eyes to the higher. I don't drink too much, I know the Budweiser. It's the liveest one, barefoot stiver, son. You want to get you a nice little amethyst stone if you can, and sprinkle a little bit of love in there. <laughs> Let me sprinkle some amethyst love in there as well. This is clean, by the way. Ain't nothing, no contamination taking place. I've cleansed it. This is my personal stone, not for sale. So don't even worry about that. But you got to put a lot of love in your food as well. You heard? A little bit of ginger. A tad bit of ginger as well. About to put some of that in there. Some black smoky quartz in there, alongside with the black salt. This is perfect, perfect energy. <laughs> All right, so just enjoy your meal, enjoy yourself. Ah, uh, hope you enjoy. Peace. Eight times, nigga on contact. Why not? Like eight times. Gotta keep it G. This is for my main signs. Figure it out. Eight times, the average amount I may sign with you. Don't like blind light, but I'll shine with you. Bitch, I gotta eat. I might dine with you. Yeah, I got bars, but I might eat con with you. Config music for real. It's in the street, give me chills. It's in the street, some chill, but still heating up for a meal. I'm like so real. Life is so surreal. So surreal, he got sealed for the way he revealed.